All right, so we are headed out and it just got done pouring here all day. There's water laying everywhere on the roads, um, in the ditches, everything like that. But it just got sunny. So we just got done eating dinner at the family's house and we were gonna try to run out and roost some birds real quick. Um, got one spot in particular, kind of a bird that I've been after. So I'm gonna try to get out there and see if he gobbles. I'm not sure, we got the pup in the back, so that's always a good sign. It seems to be a good luck charm. still kind of early. I don't think they're up in the limb yet, but we're going to hit them with some some yelps on the old mouth call. See if they got them. Sounded like he was like right there. Alright, we switched sides. We're gonna we're gonna hoot over here too. Because I think that there's a couple other birds that usually roost over in this little block. Oh, listen to that echo. Usually if the hoot does it, that bird just gobbled back there. The one we just heard before. What was that? It sounded yeah. like somebody screaming. It did. Well, there's no birds on this side. We got one rooster, so hopefully we'll slip in early and get on them. You got the day off tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We'll get on them. It's about five o'clock in the morning. We have about an hour until first gobble. Beautiful morning, uh, overcast. They said it was gonna be sunny this morning, but a little overcast. So we had a bird roost last night. We went out and listened, but we got him to gobble. So that's pretty exciting. Brianna's gonna be shooting this morning. She finally got the day off and uh, I texted the boss. He said I could have an hour or two off this morning. So we're gonna go out there and try to get it done. Um, if everything goes as planned, this should be a textbook picture perfect hunt. Hopefully this bird just pitches down right in the field and we're gonna be set up 100 yards straight across the field from him. So hopefully he wants to come down and walk right over to us, that's the goal. Um, you know how that, that usually doesn't go as, as planned, but that's the goal. So we're gonna get out there and uh, get set up and wish us luck.
You just want to do whatever the hell he wants. So old and mature, like you don't, there's no way of breaking up. He's working this way slowly. As soon as he clears that lane, actually hold on. You did oh it. <laughs> Dude, he's not Are you kidding me? Did I get in? Yeah. Come on, go on, get in. Come on, just sit there right there. First bird alert. Cannot believe that this happened. We roosted this bird last night. It, it, we pinned him. He was exactly where he was last night. A hen flew down. We didn't see her last night, but this is one of the stingiest birds I've ever seen in my life. Hunted him two days. We hunted him Saturday, me and Brady. We hunted him yesterday by myself. Never gobbled. This morning, he did not gobble until I think I hit him with a, when I gobbled on my mouth call. And then he finally gobbled. But other than that, he didn't gobble on the limb once all morning. But a textbook hunt, stingy, stingy bird. He sat out there 150 yards from us all morning and just strutted and just by himself. Never that hen worked off and he just stood out there. And then finally he broke. I'm not sure why, but patience really paid a big play today. And roosting him last night was huge help because he's been roosting probably two, 300 yards from here every other day too so it's just I don't know it's crazy 
This is your first bird yeah. ever. Shot your first buck, was that? That was what, two years ago? Shot your first buck two years ago, your first long beard ever this year. I love you. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> I love being there for your first, your first bird, your first deer. <laughs>